previously recorded. So for those of you that might haven't ever seen this rock my chicken, I just decided to come on back and show you how I do my chicken. Alright, so I put the mustard, my mustard, put, put me some mustard, is how I was going to say it, but put my mustard on it. Put hot sauce. I'm about to wash my rice over here. I'm gonna be ready for my soup. I'm gonna wash this about 10 times until the water runs to the rear. And then, or almost to it. And it's probably gonna be all there, so it's gonna be enough. Wash that out. Y'all, look at that bit. That bit of fried chicken right there. Child. Okay. Child. It's crunchy when you pick it up. When you pick it up, child. Okay. That's how you fry some chicken. I said I done whipped the meal up. You gonna tell them, hey, come on. Hey. I'm trying to get to the garbage. That's what I just did. I just whipped the meal up. I'm about to get my food. I think I'm gonna put some jiffy bread. What? Some jiffy bread in the oven. I need to get some of this liquid up out of here, though, because. Is on nobody that wants to go mushy rice. Is on nobody that wants to go mushy rice. Is potato, bread, squares, whatever. And there's my gumbo black eyed peas. And dinner is ready. Hey y'all, this is your girl Tian Like I'm gonna be me, and I'm coming at you with the video. And we're gonna be making some potato squares today. Sweet potato bread, whatever you want to call it. So, what you're gonna need to make your potato squares, sweet potato bread, or whatever you want to call it, is some ground cinnamon, nut nutmeg, light or dark brown sugar. You're gonna need you at least about three large sweet potatoes, but I got four small ones. You're gonna need you some evaporated milk, some vanilla extract. You're going to need you some butter. You're going to need some white sugar. You're going to need a hand mixer or stand mixer. You're going to need some pie crust. And you can buy you can buy it at Walmart. It comes two in a row, Pillsbury brand. But I'm probably going to need two of them, but I only got one. We're going to make do with what we got. And what if I don't got, it is what it is. Um, you're going to need two eggs. Now, this is the ingredients that you're going to need. I hope that, and make sure that you preheat your oven to 300 and 50 degrees so this the ingredients you're going to need along with just a little bit of salt you're going to need like maybe like a little half a teaspoon of salt pinch of salt really that's all you're going to need a little pinch of salt and that's about it so y'all let's get into this video i hope you enjoy it and i hope that y'all um try this recipe and if you do leave a comment 
down below after you try it and let me know what you think about it. All right. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Okay. So first thing first, we're going to work with the pie crust. And the pie crust is a circle, but we're going to cut it down and break it down to make it into a square. I just melted my butter. It's going to need about a half a stick of melted butter. Not that a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to work this on out the best way we can. Leave it in the refrigerator. Okay. So I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, stretch that on out. I'm going to stretch this pie crust. And I'm using this pie crust so you have a crust because I had this pie crust in the refrigerator, y'all. And I didn't have nothing else to do with this crust. So I was like, well, let me just go ahead on and use the pie crust because normally when I make this I don't even have a crust with it so this time I'm going to have a crust so we got that alright so now I'm going to poke some holes in it that, and put this in the oven and let it brown Poke the holes so that it don't bubble up on you. And then we're going to let this brown. That way we'll have us a nice crust on the bottom. Alright, so now we got our sweet potatoes. What I did was I boiled my sweet potatoes with the skin on, which... And then let them cool and then I was able to pull the skin right off of them. That way you don't have to be peeling your sweet potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with some cinnamon. You're going to add as much cinnamon as you like. I'm just going to add about that much. Maybe like a teaspoon of cinnamon. And about the same amount of nutmeg. Or no, let's do like a half a teaspoon of nutmeg because y'all know that nutmeg is strong and nutmeg will take over food and I'm not measuring but add you about half a teaspoon I'm gonna eyeball cooker y'all all right so then see yeah that's enough because that nutmeg will take over then I'm gonna add my half a stick of butter Then I got some sugar. Now you're going to add as much sugar as you want to add. I'm going to start out with maybe like half a cup of sugar. Brown sugar. Packed. And then if I need some more from there, then I add more from there. All right. Add that then you're going to add just some vanilla now I don't have like the real real strong vanilla so this is some off-brand type vanilla and it's not really really strong but add your vanilla you're just going to add maybe about a tablespoon or so of vanilla I just like the vanilla flavor y'all so then we're gonna add some white sugar because you know brown the light this light brown sugar I got light brown sugar like I said you can use light brown or dark brown but this light brown sugar just ain't gonna be enough so I am going to add about half maybe half like half half a cup of light brown sugar. All right, so now I got my mixer, and I'm going to beat all this together. Oh, let me add my salt. You're going to need about a pinch of salt, just a little pinch of salt, y'all. Like half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon, something like that, of salt. All right, so now I'm going to mix. I went and got my mama mixer, y'all, so...
flying everywhere. Y'all need to get me a deeper bowl. So we're going to get that up mixed up real good. Hold on, let me switch balls. So make sure you mix, 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 mix. Mix, mix. And you know what? I'm going to add a little self luck rising flour to this. Just a little bit, y'all. Just to help bind it together a little bit more. Even though it's bad. I'm using two uh, eggs. I'm just going to add just a little. Maybe like a quarter cup of um, flour. But let's finish mixing this because you want to use a hand mixer. You see the little strings? That's what you want to get out the, um, the potatoes or whatever you want to get those strings out so i'm going to mix this mix this mix this to get to the consistency that i want okay so y'all see all those strings see that's what you want to get up out of there you don't want this in your your sweet potato so i'm going to rinse these off and then keep mixing a little bit more to see if i get any more out of it okay i have tasted so i'm going to mix some more I'm not much strong, y'all. And I might not get many more because that was a lot of strong. Yeah, got a little bit more out of that. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to add, let's taste it one more time. It tastes good to me, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to add these two eggs. I'm going to see if I want to add the, um, what's the name or not, the flour, which I'll probably do add a little flour because I got to add some milk to this. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to. Mix a little bit of milk at a time. Hold on. So I'm trying to get the consistency that I want. Nice and smooth, not too thin, but not too thick, so add just a little bit at a time. And see, as you mix, you're still going to get a little strings. Yeah, I'm going to add just a little flour. Gonna add maybe like uh I like an eighth of a cup of flour. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna add that eighth. One eighth of a cup, which is half of a half of a quarter cup, just in case y'all don't know. Okay, look like I want to add another eighth, and that'll be a quarter cup of, yeah, I'm going to add, yep, 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 a quarter cup of self-rising, self-rising, y'all, self-rising flour, not all purpose.
definitely not gonna add no more liquid to it. Only added what? Probably about a quarter cup of liquid. That was about it. Definitely not gonna add no more. So now, seem like I wanna add just a little bit more because it's still on the loose side because those potatoes, the sweet potatoes had, the sweet potatoes have a lot of liquid. So the amount of liquid that you have, it just depends on how much the sweet potato liquid, the sweet, I mean, the, the amount of liquid that you're going to need, it depends on the amount of, of liquid that the sweet potatoes will hold. So maybe if I would have um, baked the sweet potatoes first, they wouldn't have as much liquid. This is another eighth of a cup, eighth of a cup. It's better, but it's getting there. So we're going to now say a whole half a cup. Y'all, I'm not used to measuring. That, that lets you know. I'm not used to measuring nothing. So we're going to say a whole half a cup of self-rising flour. <laughs> Yeah, now that's now that's where it need to be at. Okay, so you want it almost like the consistency of like cornbread mix or something, you know. So I added maybe like a quarter cup of liquid uh, of evaporated milk and a half a cup of um, self rising flour to that. Half a stick of butter. And now we're done with that. So now we're going to take our bread out of the oven. And it's nice and crispy. Browned enough for me. Cooked up. It's hard. You know, you want to get it cooked first. Then you're going to take your sweet potato filling. And you're just going to dump it right in your pan. Which mine probably would have been able to make. Oh, one pan. It's just enough. So you're gonna get that in now. And the sweetness is basically on you. You gotta taste yours and see if you want it sweeter or not. Spread that out. And now we're gonna put this in the 350 degree oven and let this bake until it firm up. Like that right down and bake it until it get firm and you'll know when it's ready just stick your fork in it come out clean it's ready i don't know how long y'all because i ain't never had to measure in time this i just i just made it all right y'all this is the sweet potato bread and as it has come out of the oven it's still hot i have baked it for an hour and 10 minutes so if you try this recipe and you like it leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it it is a little bit on the thicker side because i have more filling for the pan but if you want a thicker thinner then use a different pan and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to drizzle some cream cheese icing on top of this like my auntie did the sweet potato no the pumpkin bread she put some cream cheese icing on top of it i think i'm gonna try 
the sweet potato bread like that once it cooled down. I'll let y'all know. Come back and cut a piece and let y'all see what it tastes like.